Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kaplan, a plastic surgeon in Edgewater, New Jersey, and this is our Thursday weekly vlog where we answer questions that we get from our patients on Instagram. And today we're going to be answering questions about PDO threads, which is a new technique for facial rejuvenation. PDO threads are, are almost like sutures, but without the needle and the threads dissolve over six months and then they, in place of the thread, collagen is formed. And we usually, uh, they usually get um, put in with a cannula. So this is, this is one of the barb threads. The threads come in three different versions. This is a barb thread, which basically we will put down under the skin and then we pull it out so it lifts up all the skin. You could put it in the the brow region to lift up the brow and give a brow lift. You could actually put it near the lateral part of the eye called the lateral canthus, put it down here and that pulls up the lateral part of the eye. You could even put it towards the lower eyelid and pull the side of the skin so that it's almost like a lower lid blepharoplasty or eye job. You could put it towards the nasolabial fold, pull that up. The whole idea behind threads is that there are people that have enough volume in their face but that volume is dropped down due to gravity. So the thread actually brings that volume back up where it belongs. No matter how much volume with fillers you put in someone's face, sometimes the filler itself cannot do the job of lifting because it's not an issue of volume, it's an issue of lifting. So that's the advantage of the barb thread. You put it in and it pulls up on the descending uh, tissue in the face. These are called twists. These are made of PDO as well, which is, again, it dissolves over six months and then gets replaced by collagen. With the, with the twists, we could do some really nice things. Sometimes we outline the lips with them to give you a nice uh, structure to your lip and also the filtral columns here. Uh, sometimes we'll put the twists in the nasolabial fold. Um, sometimes we'll put the twists actually in the nose to give the dorsal lines more aesthetic appearance and more straight appearance of the nose. So there's a lot of places, wherever you need volume, these twists can be put in. Um, you could use the threads anywhere where you need volume. Um, there's also another thread that's not here, which is a smooth thread. When you put it underneath the skin, it forms collagen. So a lot of people that have very fine lines or thin skin, if you, there are people that have very loose skin underneath their chin. If you put the smooth threads under there, it just thickens the collagen. So it's like any other procedure that'll thicken the collagen, such as laser, microneedling, microdermabrasion, just another method of increasing collagen for people that have thin skin. Um, another place, anywhere what that needs lifting, you could use barbed threads. Pe some people complain about uh, hanging skin over their knees. You can actually put a barbed thread there and pull up the skin. Uh, some people have hanging tissue near their breasts. You could actually put barbs in there to, to lift that up as well. So wherever there is sagging, the barbed thread can be used to lift that tissue. With any non-surgical procedure, it's not really a matter of age, it's a matter of what the patient needs. So we have patients that are in their 20s and they just have uh, facial tissue that is has descended already. So, and then we also have patients that are in their 40s and their facial tissue hasn't descended. So it's not really a matter of age. Botox also, we have patients that have very strong muscles in between their eyebrows, the, the procerus muscle and the corrugator muscles. That's something that you're born with. It doesn't, the, the strength of the muscle is what causes wrinkles in the face. So it's never a matter of age. But anyway, when we do put threads in people that are young, what we find is that it gives them more accentuation of their cheekbones, more fullness in their lips, more definition of their lips. It gives them more shape to their eyes. So usually with older people, you're kind of catching up and trying to restore what they used to look like. But with younger people, we're actually fine tuning and really uh, making a nice aesthetic result with the threads. Combining the threads with filler and Botox I believe is the best way to do it. That's called um, using dual modality or multimodality, using two different or three different techniques to try to achieve one goal. 
sometimes when we use fillers, it's good enough. Sometimes when we use threads, that's good enough. But there are many times when we use threads or fillers by themselves and it's not enough. It doesn't achieve the goal that we're trying to reach. When we use fillers with threads, that's when we get the optimal result. So the downtime with PDO threads is based on swelling. The less anesthesia we have to use, the less swelling you're going to have. There are a lot of people that can tolerate the threads going in without anesthesia. If we have to use local anesthesia, then there is more swelling in the face, which will descend over time to the lower part of the face and then get resorbed and go away um, in about four or five days. We find that the optimum results are anywhere between two and four weeks where all the swelling is gone and everything is lifted and you really see a nice definition of the cheekbones and the corners of the mouth are lifted. All the definition that we're trying to achieve it really is exhibited when the swelling goes away in that time period. We've had patients here that we've put many syringes of fillers in their face and they metabolize it quickly, it goes away quickly, or the volume, it, we achieve the volume, but the lift is not still not there because lifting areas like the marionette line, which is here, lifting that up is very difficult to do with a filler. You can inject here to kind of blend it into the face, but ideally you don't want to put more volume down in the lower part of the face because then the, the face will look heavy and square. So the best thing to do with that would be to lift it. Um, I would say that anybody that's already that has enough volume in their face but needs a lift is a good candidate for threads. So this this is uh, Dr. Kaplan signing off. Uh, we're going to answer questions every Thursday on our Instagram. If there's any particular area of plastic surgery that you have a question about or that you'd like to see a video of, please uh, message us and we will certainly oblige. Take care.